What's going on, Box Chevy family? It's Box Chevy P back again with another one. Um, it's gonna be a short and sweet and simple video, man, from the thumbnail or from the title of the video. Y'all can pretty much see what's going on. And um, like I said, I'm pretty pissed, man, but I'm better, but I'm I'm, I'm still salty. But uh, yeah, long story short, uh, I sent my well, I had you know I had a. Uh, Custom center console, man. I had a rear deck, man, and I had two kicks, you know, to go by your feet. Two kick panels, man, right? So, uh, I had all of that. You know, my boy made it for me. He shipped it to me. It was all fine and dandy. And then I decided to make, you know, me, because I'm always unsatisfied. I see something, I always want to upgrade. But long story short, I already had my little setup, and then I seen him make a four piece rear deck that looks so cold. I'm like, oh, I got to add that one. You know, he don't like making the same thing twice, but I kind of pressure him and he end up making it for me. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to upgrade to a four-piece deck with the lights, and I like it. Because I really wasn't a fan of the lights on the con center consoles and stuff when I first ordered one. I was a big fan of the iPads and stuff, but I wasn't a fan of the lights. So what I ended up doing is, um, I once I had my whole setup, and I'll show y'all how it look right here. That's my setup I had, or that's the original setup. So, um... Basically, I got that. I'm going to make a long story short for you. I got that. You know what I mean? Everything was fine and dandy. I liked everything that he had made. But then when I got my second deck, rear, my, my second rear deck made that I was telling y'all about the four piece that I've seen him make, that I wanted mine to look just like that. So I said, make me one of those, which is this one right here. That I'm going to show y'all right there. It's the four piece one right there. And then uh, I said, okay, well, now that I got the four piece deck made, I still love my console and everything. But... Now I need my console. I want to add lights to my console, some six and a halves, and a button. So I said, okay. He said, I can handle that for you. You just have to send it back. You know, he backed up. He got a bunch of customers. So, you know, this is what he do. So he got a lot of customers. So he said, just send it back to me, and I squeeze you in when I can and get you, you know, add the lights to it, add the button, and uh, the six and a half inch speakers in there. So I boxed everything up, sent it to him. and a half mids. Uh, I put some extra material in there, you know, for them to rewrap it if you had to. Um, my console, and uh, that was it. So my console, the extra material to wrap it, and my six and a half speakers. So, you know, my buddy, he he, he shipped through a P.O. box, so I shipped it off to a P.O. box. And he told me, he like, um, he still haven't arrived. It was like a week or so later. I seen on my end, it said deliver, you know, through UPS. But on his end, you know, when you got a P.O. box and it's a big post office down there where he at, it take a while for him to put it into his, you know, P.O. box. So I wasn't tripping. I asked him, is this normal? That it's taking this long to come, which it had been like a week, a week and a half, two weeks at this point. He said, yeah, uh, it's normal for it to take a few days or such and such to, you know, to get to my P.O. box. So long story short, a month passed. So when a month passed, I asked him, like, is this still normal? He said, no, this ain't normal. So we got to do an investigating. You know, on my behalf, I'm trying to figure out what's going on, but I know he's busy, so he's trying to probably figure it out or squeeze it time to go to the post office to see what's going on. But UPS did their job. They delivered it to the post office. But come to find out, we had to open the investigation up with UPS, and they investigated, and they came to the conclusion that it was lost. And for those of y'all that might think, oh, your boy might have got it and told you he didn't know he didn't. He ain't that type of dude. He 100 with me. You know, he look out for me every time I deal with him, so definitely the type that's gonna get it and say he didn't get it but long story short ups contacted the post office and they said they lost the package so this is damn near 1200 dollars console and my boy can't do nothing about it in his fault that it's lost so i'm like damn i'm stuck like chuck so long story short we waiting we waiting we waiting and i'm like damn i'm just gonna be out of a console i don't want to have to pay to make another one to do this do that my boy hits me he said um uh, Hey, if you push on the shove, if they don't find it, I'm going to make you a new one. That just brightened my day. I'm like, man, that's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? And I did a lot of business with him. You know what I mean? And he didn't have to do that. He could have said, let's split the cost. Dude, he could have deal with it. He said, deal whatever he wanted to because he didn't owe me nothing. Even though I sent it to him. And if he would have, it would have been reversed where he sent me something and it got lost, I would have did the same thing. I wouldn't have had to, but I would have did the same thing. But he came through and looked out for me, man, saying, I'm just going to make you a brand new one from scratch, man. Just give me a minute to get caught up on all my other orders and I'm going to look out for you. You know what I'm saying? And that's real shit. That's why I deal with him because he's very solid when it comes to do 
doing any kind of business, he's a solid one. So with that being said, I guess I'm better off now. I'm still pissed that I lost my original one, but he gonna make me another one. And I know how he get out, he gonna have that motherfucker right for me. So I ain't really tripping on that. I know he gonna have it looking good, but the moral of the story is, real people do real things, man. You know, excuse me, I'm losing my voice too. I've been partying a little bit. But real people do real things, man. So salute my boy, man. And uh, when my new console come in, I definitely gonna show it to y'all, let y'all see what I'm talking about. But um, I guess it'll be well worth it because I still get an upgraded console like I wanted in the first place. And I've been kind of all over the place myself, man. You know, far as running around, looking at houses, you know, looking for properties. It been, I've been all over the place. So it's been a little hectic for me too on my end. I'm gonna show y'all in person the one that I got right here. That's the four piece deck right there. Got the lights to go through the trimming. These are my two kicks that he made for me. So that was in the original package. So that's the new deck. That's the second one I got. So me getting that deck, I'm like, okay, I might as well upgrade to update, upgrade my uh, center console as well to get some lights put in. And that's where everything took a turn for. A little bit of pressure off my shoulders by looking out for me, making me another one. So that was, you know, a blessing in disguise, man. So like I tell people, man, people think just because you had the money to do something that the car game not stressful. The car game is still stressful. Just like the story I just told y'all, for example. That's stressful within itself, dealing with shit like that. Another thing stressful, you put your car in the paint shop. I had to put my car in the paint shop. Dude kept my car for three months. He was only supposed to keep it for 30 days. That stressed me the fuck out. Um, getting the rear end done right now. That was supposed to be a two week process. We going on week four in a couple days. So. Like I say, it's stressful. You can have the money to have your car right because most people think the stress come in in the financial department. No, there's more ways to get stressed out about your car because like I say, when you get into people's hands, ain't no telling how long they're going to make you wait. And I know my boy busy, but I still got to wait. That was two and a half, almost going on three months ago that my stuff got lost and I was supposed to get to them and get it right back. So now I'm still waiting. I'm stuck waiting another, should I, however long it's going to take them to make it. Which, like I said, it's not on him because he didn't lose it. But still, you know, that's stressful too. Just waiting. You're on everybody else's time. When you get your car done and it's something that you can't do personally, you you stuck waiting on somebody else and you're on their time. So you got to deal with that. You know what I mean? And like I said, I'm a patient person, but it's only so long that I like to wait. You know what I mean? And if you give me a certain time frame, when I discuss something with you, when I make a payment, and if I come to you and say, hey, man, how long is it going to take you to do this? And you give me your word, okay, it's going to take me this such and such time. And you go past that time. Then I'm going to start getting on your bumper. And that's just how it go with my cars or anything. My guy who told me he was going to pay my car, once it got past 30 days, I got on his ass. And I, I really was still giving him, being lean on him after 30 days, trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. But once you get, go past the time frame that you gave me on working on my vehicle or some, doing something for me, then it's time to holler at you. And I'll be the same way if I would tell somebody, hey, well, I do this for you. You know, I'm doing a service for somebody and I tell them a certain time frame. You know, granted, shit happens sometimes, but for the most part, if you go two months past the date I gave you, that's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? So you tell me, hey, man, it's going to take me a week to do something. You end up taking five weeks to do it. Come on now, man. I can see if you had to go an extra week or a few days past the week. That's a different story. But when you're going way past the time frame you gave me, then you know it's some bullshit in the game. So like I said, this, this car game is super fucking stressful. But at the same time, man, you got to be patient. And you really got to be into your car shit because I didn't want to give up several times. Like, man, fuck it, I'm going to sell all these cars and just sell it because this shit is definitely a headache. It's enjoyable once you get everything done, but the shit is definitely a headache. So that's that on that.